what is up my name is Jess if you haven't seen me before and welcome to my channel um, yeah if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and yeah today I'm gonna be doing a blush haul I popped into Lush yesterday before I went to work and I spent 22 pounds and 20 pence these are the both bombs I got I'm gonna show you in a second but yeah um, and I've also got a description of every bath bomb that I've got. I'm just going to pick them out randomly. I'm going blurry. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pick them out randomly. And yeah, so we'll just pick them out. And then, and also, I am in my pyjamas. But it's because I want to, I want to, to film this before I have a bath. So because I've got a day off today and it's snowing ridiculously heavy um, it snowed overnight so like yeah uh, but anyway so the first one I've picked out is the Rouge 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 Bombshell Bath Bomb um, they're all bath bombs when dropped into a warm bath your bomb will weigh releasing its colour as one beneficial essential lie back, relax and enjoy and I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty pink, and it's got like bits of green. If you can see that, yeah. But and it's got I don't know if you can see, but like the vial on it is literal roses. It smells. And I try and get a different one every time I do it. Um, there is one that I get every time I do it, which is my favourite, and I'll show you that. Um, yeah, there is one that's my favourite, and I get that every time I go in, so I will show you that in a second when I pick it out. Um, I'm just going to show you the rose one. So the rose one says, it just says, drop a bombshell. Love is blind, which is, shame, which is a shame because this bombshell with a floral triplet of yellow rose petals, rose absolute and rose oil is an enthralling spectacle to watch. As it fizzes, the outer shell breaks away uh, and the magnificent petals burst out in a sweet haze of Sicilian lemon and floral geranium. Oh, yours. Um, but yeah, I haven't actually used it before. Um, so like I said, I try and get a different one every time I um, go in but there is one that's my favourite one I come to it obviously I'll tell you um, but yeah so, this is okay so this is again another one I haven't had and it's the so Sakura bomb um, and it just has one dropped into a warm bath okay so it says the same thing on every wrapper I didn't realise that oh a bit close there um so the Sakura is blooming lovely. A celebration of spring bursting into a floral fragrance. Yes, this is from their new range. Um, inspired by the cherry blossom in Japan, this pretty bomb is designed to evoke the burst of optimism the first sign of spring brings. Uh, it's not very springy outside right now. <laughs> Claiming Mimosoa, Mimosoa and Jasmine oils are complemented by lemon oil and orange flower to bring to mind the smell of this colourful season. And then, I'll show you what it looks like. It's really cool, I think it looks really cool. It looks kind of like um, Dragon's Egg, I believe that's what it's called. But this one is just like white and it has like pink all over it, pink and like turquoise blue. And then it's got just this one bit here, which I assume it's supposed to have. But yeah. Oh. It smells kind of like... <laughs> I can't even explain the smell. If only you guys had to smell a vision, that would be amazing. But yeah, that's that one. This is the big sleep jelly bomb 
and so this one has like makes uh, the one was showing me what it looked like in the water and um, it says time tips no it was on the description slip into something more comfortable your bath when you're in need of some serious relaxation grab this snoozy lullaby of lavender and tonka relax in the water pop it in and soak under the sink a skin softening jelly blanket calm the mask, calm the skin and the mood well not only helps you feel uplifted so it's supposed to help you obviously um sleep hence the name i suppose uh but yeah she was showing me in the um you know in lush they have like the sinks to show you the examples and stuff and yeah it looks really cool and i'm not that big of a fan of lavender but i really like this one um so yeah really nice and like it creates a layer of jelly um and yeah i really like it it's got like a moon on it too Bella! that's the only thing that i find when you go to lush is that your hands get ridiculously dusty and yeah the last one is the Madam President bath bomb. This is a new one actually as well I believe. Um, and it says it gets our vote. Um, and it says the campaign's over and you're won by a landslide from your cabinet with pented green oil that will keep you calm during the approaching term. Grapefruit is a valuable secretary of state as it's Uplifting and anti antiseptic products will be invaluable in buoying you up during the next national crisis. Corn flour rounds off the pack as a fabulous way to keep the skin soft and clean. So no matter what you stand for, rest assured that you run the world. Good luck, Madam President, for the next four years. Um, yeah, so this is a new one and obviously it's um, a present. Let's see one. I'm going to just put on a really like grapefruit as well. Like grapefruit is one of my favourite scents. Oh, it just smells so good. So it's blue on one side with like white stars, and then on the other side it's pink with one big yellowish star. Yeah, yellow star. Um, and like I said, it's really really nice. I like it. Yeah. Right, so the last one is. Obviously my favourite because I have all the others to my favourite. This is my favourite bath bomb and I was speaking to one of the ladies and, and she was actually saying that it's actually her favourite bath bomb too. Actually, in fact, two of the ladies were saying that it was their favourite and there was a guy in there as well that was saying that the uh, the big sleep jelly bomb was his favourite. I can't remember names, I'm so sorry. I don't know. The lady who served me was really nice but I don't know if it's her one. Yeah. No, it just says, oh, it says Ann Mix, so I don't know if that's like two people, well I assume it is, but, um, yeah, but she was really lovely, or well, they were all really nice. Oh, I should have this. this is so my favourite, it's so pretty in the bath, and if you, if you ever go into lunch, you have to get this bath from, trust me, it's so nice, it's, it literally, it's called Intergalactic and it literally looks like a galaxy. It's so beautiful and I just, the smell is amazing. I can't tell you what the smell is. Oh, the only thing is, if you don't like glitter, don't get it because it's very very glitter. But I don't mind having glitter, so I was washed out anyway, obviously, because, yeah. Um, let's get the description up. So it says, blast off into funky. Ever wondered what bathing in deep space would be like? Invite the cosmos into your bathroom with this sexy interstellar bomb and become the guardian of your own galaxy. An awesome mix of refreshing peppermint and neon colours send your mood rocketing while popping candy makes you on, takes you on a trip around the Milky Way. Constellations swirl and pop creating vibrant lustre, lustre vortex in the night sky. Before you leap too far, rogue layers of vetiver 
and Cheddarwood take hold, evoking the warmth of human contact far from home and hint of 80s aftershave. Return from your intergalactic brief encounter as the grounding scent brings you gently back from orbit. So yeah, that's definitely my favourite bath bomb. Um, because it smells so good, it looks awesome, and I just love it. Um, but yeah, so if you did, um, let me know actually below what is your favourite bath bomb. Leave me some suggestions of what ones I should try. And guess in the comments below which one I... I'm gonna use this morning um, yeah and yeah if you enjoyed this video remember to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in another video bye guys